Welcome to Moving Math and Science. In this video, let's work on uh, finding the domain, the range, and then if it's a function of uh, from a graph. And uh, let's go over a couple things. Remember, the domain are the x values. You read from left to right. You use brackets whenever you have a closed symbol or circle or straight lines, and then you use parentheses for open and then positive and negative infinity. And then the range are your y values, okay? And the same rules apply here. And then a function is where x does not repeat. And you can use the uh, pencil test as you move past this, and it can't touch it in two places. So we'll work with a couple examples here. So let's get started with this one. Let's first work with the domain. And what I like to do is start, you read from left to right, so start, and you can move over. And where's the first place that it touches? And that would be negative 2. So it is closed. So first, let's write negative 2. It is closed, so I'm going to use a bracket. And then I'm going to go from the left and do the same thing. I'm going to move over, and it touches at positive 2. And it is open, so it will be a bracket. So there's the domain. Now from the range, you go from the bottom and kind of repeat. I touch right here, and that is negative 1. And it is open, so it's going to be negative 1 and a bracket. And then coming down, it looks like it is a positive 2. Okay, and we have a bracket because it is closed. And now, is it a function? Question mark. Well, it passes the pencil test because it does not touch it in two places, so that would be yes. So there's the first one. Okay, on this next one, let's go ahead and see what happens. Let's start with domain. Remember, the domain is the x values, and you always read from left to right. So I start on the left, I move, and I hit an arrow. An arrow means that it goes on in this direction forever. So it's going to be a negative infinity. And, okay, and now let's move to the other side. I'm going to move over, and what's the first thing we hit? And that is a 1, 2, 3, Four, that is a positive 4, and it is closed, so it will be a bracket. Now let's go range. We move up, and again, I hit the arrow, and so I'm going to have a negative infinity for the range. And then when I come down, it looks like I have 1, 2, 3, and it is closed, so it will be a bracket. And then, oops, I put that with the function. Sorry about that. It goes with the range. And then for the function, let me cross that out. Sorry about that. For the function, does it pass the test? And it does Does not touch it in two places. So that will be a yes. Okay, let's move on. Okay, now we have one a little bit different. But let's just follow the same procedure. Let's start with domain, the x values, and let's move from the left remember we go from left to right and it hits this line and that is it's a straight line so i'm going to have a excuse me first let's figure out what it is one two okay it's a straight line and if we move from the right we get the same thing so it's only going to be one value and it's going to be brackets because it's a straight line now let's talk about the range okay let's move up it looks like we have an arrow so we know that that is going to be a negative infinity okay it's kind of an infinity signal kind of weak symbol excuse me and then if we move down we have open at one two three and that means i use a bracket and is it a function absolutely okay one final one okay let's take a look at this one it's kind of a circle so let's look for the domain first. And remember, they, again, it's the x value, so I'm going to start on the left, and you always move from left to right. And it looks like we touch right here, 1, 2, 3. That's negative 3, and it is either closed or it's a straight line. Either one would mean you have a bracket and negative 3. And then I'm going to move from the other side, and it looks like we have a positive. Again, it's a straight line. A straight line you use a bracket and then let's go from the bottom again one two three I touch 
a straight line. Excuse me, this would be the range. And we have a, again, I'm going to go from the bottom. Looks like we have a 1, 2, a negative 3 with a straight line. So it's going to be bracket. Let's go down from the top. We touch right here. 1, 2, 3. Looks like a positive 3. Straight line and bracket. And is it a function? Well, let's function. Question. Well, let's see. Let's move through. And notice that it's hitting at two places. Okay. So it is no. Okay. So here we go with this one. Let's start on the left. We move over. We hit right here. That is 1, 2. That is a negative 2, and it is closed. So bracket negative 2 for the domain. I'm not finished yet. And then we go from the other side, and we hit 1, 2, 3, open. So you're going to get brackets. And then the range, let's go from the bottom. We hit right here, 1, 2, that is a negative 2, and a straight line. So we're going to use brackets. And then we're going to come down, and notice that we hit it first right here, which is a positive 2, and it is closed. So we're going to go 2 brackets, and is it a function? Yes, because it only hits it in one place. Okay. So let's go yes. So let's summarize real fast. Let me bring back the original sheet. Okay. So again, domain are your X values. You read from left to right. Use brackets for closed and straight lines. Um, parentheses for open and positive and negative infinity. And the function is a relationship where the X does not repeat. And for instance, if you had this shape, it would not be a function because noticing it's hitting at two locations. I hope that was helpful.